I don't know how we saw this flyer, but we saw this flyer in GRE. Okay, if I put Ore, it's. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Little Black Chick, and of course, we are back with another Bumper Crack video. Now he goes. Bum, 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 bum. I'm sorry, this is not. I don't know. This is not what I'm like. <laughs> welcome back, guys. It is another Bumper Crack video, guys. So today, I'm gonna be showing you guys who I am. What I am made of, okay. So according to the tag, it is the Igbo Nigerian girl, Nigerian Igbo tag. This is like showing you who I am, like showing you that I am a correct Igbo girl. In our norm. Am I making sense, anybody? I hope I at some point. I, I don't think at some point I'm going to speak any Igbo in this video. I don't think so. So if you expect me to speak, ugh, please, I'm not speaking anything. But hopefully we don't get to speak Igbo, Sha. But if we get to speak Igbo, I'll try. All right. So guys, I already have questions. Shout out to Niela actually for helping me out with these questions because I've gone on the Google to find it, but I couldn't find it. But she helped me with the questions. So yeah, before I go right into all of that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, okay? And if you're an oldie but a goldie, shout out to you for coming back. So my first question is, where are you from? I am from Anambra State, Anambra State in Nigeria, but the place I'm from, Gung, 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 is, it's called Opo, Navy South in Anambra State, right, um, in Opo, my village is called Ubuma, I'm gonna insert, I'm gonna write the name of the place I'm from, okay, so that is where my dad is from. My mom is also from Obo as well, but she is from Umudiji. It's a place called Umudiji. So, yeah. Now, my dad is from Uboma. My mom is from Umudiji in New South, Obo. So, basically, yeah. So, the next question is Who is your best Igbo celebrity? Do I have any best Igbo celebrity? The people that I kind of I kind of enjoy watching or listening to is Umudibu. See, let me give you back. Let me give you a story, guys. So there was a time I and my friend Esther we went to get some stuff from the supermarket, and we I don't know how we saw this flyer, but we saw this flyer in GRE, and this flyer says that these artists, these people, this Umobilibo, that they are in a Jawa state, like they are very close to my place. I'm like, what? I had to like say Esther, oh yeah, we are going there. Guys, can you imagine? Like I stayed right where they were performing, it's like a bar. Okay, so they they were performing there. I think we came there late, but it, it that wasn't that didn't matter actually. It didn't really matter because I was there to just see them and enjoy enjoy their music, their performances and all that. Guys, I have never in my life bought a bottle of drink before, but because of these guys. I bought a bottle of drink and we sat just directly in front of them i don't know the grammar to use but guys i was sitting like i could see them literally like i could i could see them and see the kind of joy i felt seeing these people perform it was i don't know how to explain it but it was it was beautiful so for me those are my favorite Igbo celebrities celebrity and my next question is what is your best food best Igbo food I'd say okwa because yo okwa is a kind of delicacy they take time to prepare do you get me it takes a lot of time to prepare if you're not very well it will not be sweet but you have to take your time put dry fish put you know all that as a mangala Put all those good, good stuffs and make it, you know, make it taste nice, okay? You know that we look at it, we just remove the water. See, pour everything, put everything so that it will make sense. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's my favorite meal, actually. Okwa is my favorite meal. 
most places you've ever visited most places i've ever visited um so my kind of job yeah as a, as a tv presenter i tend to travel a lot right um interstate intercountry international sorry i never i've not traveled for a job internationally before sha my mom's watching this now i'm dead <laughs> but interstate like um there was a time casey had this um concert thingy that he was doing and my company were actually the one that produced the show and guys ha guys it wasn't easy but it was fun so i went to like four different states right um yeah four different states let's just put it like that so we went like to four different places in two in you know in two weeks actually two weekends so we went to umar here we went to enugu state we went to Oriri, and the last place we had the show was my place my state which was in oka so yeah that's those four places um um wait okay i've been to is it just this question that i don't understand is it just the Igbo part of nigeria the Igbo part of nigeria or every place the states that i've been to let me just give you guys the states i've been to in nigeria it's not much but yeah so i've been to benin i've been to asaba i've been to acquire bomb i've been to calaba i've been to i think that's it i've been to ibadan i've been to ilon ilon i've been to i've been to Ilori. i've been to <laughs> i think that's it if I put Ore, it's... <laughs> okay, but basically, these are the places I've been to, guys. Yeah. My next question is... What's the what's misconceptions about Igbo people? Hmm! It's plenty, oh. But I'll just give you guys one or two. I'll give you guys one. So, yeah. <laughs> the most one I've heard is that uh, there are rituals. They used to kill their mother and father to make money. I wouldn't say this is like 100% the whole of Igbo people though, but let me say for myself and for my family. For me, I don't think everybody is a ritualist. I wouldn't say they're not. Yeah, they could be, but I have not seen anybody that's a ritualist in my... No, let me just use my family, my fathers, my father, and my siblings. <laughs> so yeah. I don't think in my family there's any ritualist. So let's just see, like, I don't know. I can't even weigh it now in percentage, okay? So, but basically, not everybody is a ritualist, okay? And another misconception is that they say Igbo people like money too much. I'm sorry, that's not true. If you are watching this now, you don't like money. See, come, come. Come, let me pray for you. Come, let me pray for you. Then we don't like money again. Let me hear you. That's not true. Everybody likes money. But I feel like Igbo people now, you know the way they hustle, their hustle is now making the whole thing now blend like that. Sha, I don't know. You don't like money like that. It's just that they got to make money to enjoy their life. Igbo now, not cool life too much. Panako life too much. Does that sound well? <laughs> okay. The next thing is what do you like about the Igbo tribe? Um, first things first, I'm an Igbo girl and for you to be an Igbo person and you're not hardworking, they have to like check you well if your mother did a pianwe or something okay Igbo people they are so super 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 hard working they're really really hard working yo i've never seen people that are as hard working as the Igbo part of nigeria quote me quote me please quote me if you feel i'm wrong but yeah, they're really, really hardworking, and that's one thing I love about the Igbo people. What don't you like about 
Igbo people. Ew. Is it something? Okay. I feel like here, yeah, I don't know if this is generally, but for me, Igbo people don't love it. They don't. No, 100%, they don't love each other. I should say that. Like, they don't love each other. That's me. That's why I say. Um, are you open to marrying from another tribe? <laughs> of course. See, the fact that I'm Igbo doesn't mean that I get to marry from my state or from my tribe. Well, uh, you can't tell me that. But trust me, I can actually marry from another tribe. The fact that I'm Igbo doesn't mean I have to marry from my tribe. I can marry any other place. I can marry elsewhere. Basically. So, favorite Nigerians, favorite Igbo slangs. Chai! <laughs> hey, <-wo. laughs> What else? Nah, eh. Elewe. Ha! No, I don't think Alabam is there. Nah, Alabam is. It's. It has passed away. Elewe. What's your favorite Igbo movie? Ukwa Chinaka on Alba. Ukwa. Ukwa. I mean, if you know Ukwa. If you know the movie Ukwa, please let me know in the comments section. Okay, Ukwa, that came out was inside. So that's actually the one that can actually come to my head right now. Yeah. What's your Igbo name? My Igbo name is Obianuju. But when my father is in a good mood, he calls me Ujuako. But if he's not in a good mood, Uju. Nobody has actually ever called me Obianu Dusha. But my name, my full name, my full Igbo name is Obianu Ju. But for short, they call me Uju or Ujuako. Favorite Igbo outfit? Isiago. I actually have not worn it before, but I like that attire so much. I don't know why, but yeah, I like it. Favorite, favorite Igbo artist? I'm still going to say Umobulibo. You can't kill me. It's what I want. It's what I like. But wait, I can actually say my my best Igbo celebrity can be Nkemowo or Ebele Okara. If it's just the celebrity part now, not the musician. I thought it was just like generally. If it's just generally, I think I'm just gonna go Umo Bulibu. But if it's just like, I don't know, the movie part, I should say Okwa, Nkemowo, or Ebelo Okara, or Mr. Ibu. My next question is if you have, if you had the opportunity to change your tribe, which would it be? Ibibo. I'm sorry, but yeah, I, I don't think I have any other tribe that I want to join. I want to change my tribe to that is, or maybe Yoruba no. Um, oh God. See, I don't know. Ibo, I'll change it to Ibo. Or. No, no way. Okalaba, Akwai Bom. Why I like it is that the way they speak their language, eh, it's just see, they enter brain. Like, Idiongoke. Hi, Akauke. Hey, Kuboro. You know, Tie Tie. You know, all those, the way they say it, I just like it. I think if I want to change, if I had the opportunity to change tribe, I'll do Akwai Bom. I think you call it ethic or something. I don't know. Favorite Igbo song at the moment. Um, I think I say Zoro. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
by Zoro. I don't know. I just love everything from Zoro Sha. But if I'm to pick favorite musician, that's an ego. Umo Buligo, sorry. Zoro, no vex. Um, last time you visited your village. <laughs> that was last year. Last year. Last. Yeah. That's it, January. Last year. Was it last year, January or December? I think it's between December and January. But I shall know I was there in January, Sha. Favorite Igbo personality? No. Nah. Do I have any favorite Igbo personality? Do I have any favorite Igbo personality? I'm still trying to think. No, Ibuka. Mba. Guys, I'm sorry. I don't have any Igbo personality. Is it like media personality or just personality, personality? Let me just go with the one that is coming to my head now. Ibuka Obu Chindu. So, what's Igbo food? <laughs> most Igbo food? What don't I enjoy eating? I eat it, but I don't enjoy eating it. Onubu soup. I'll tell Onubu soup because... If it's not properly prepared, I don't like it. But if it's well prepared, yeah, I'm down for it. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Yeah. But I think Onubu soup, Sha. I tilt towards Onubu anytime. If you don't have any other soup and you give me Onubu, I won't eat it. Sorry. Have you ever been mistaken for another tribe? Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I have. Okay. I've been mistaken for Yoruba, I've been mistaken for Efik, I've been mistaken for Edo, I've been mistaken for Kogi, I've been mistaken for No House, I know. Did I say Yoruba, yeah. I've been mistaken for. Yeah. They don't even know that I'm not even any of this. I'm not any of this tribes that they are mistaking me for that i'm just a girl a, a, an evil girl that is just living alive i don't know why is it that people evil people don't look this way is it that i don't look this way i don't understand is it that i don't look this way come on now uh, most visited Igbo location i've been to enugu i've been to abia state I've been to Asaba. I've been to Anambra State. I've been to Oweri. I've been to. I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. Okay, that's all about the video for today, guys. Thank you so much. I keep looking this way. <laughs> okay, guys, that's about the video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy watching these videos with me, Give this video a very big thumbs up. Uh, it's quite, it's quite um, funny that they didn't even put say anything in Igbo. But you guys know I already spark, I already spark Igbo. You guys already know that I already said something in Igbo language, so I think that will pass. Okay, you already heard me speak Igbo. Okay, I got fully that. Go. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed watching it, and don't forget to let me know all of these details in the comment section. As I'm answering, you're asking me to. Okay? I'll see you guys on my next one.